Hello, I am Akil, the real deal with zeal and mass appeal. And I am an expert on markets. But I firmly believe that you can learn something from everybody. That's why I'm here today at the market to talk with Doug McPhail, the director of retail for the Downtown Project. Hello, Doug. Hello. Thanks for meeting with me. How are you today? My pleasure. Doing really well. Thank you. Thank you. All right, before I get into all my questions, I have a riddle for you. Not only am I an expert on markets, but I'm also an expert on riddles. So tell me, what is soft and fleshy on the inside, hairy on the outside, begins with a C, and ends with U-N-T? Chicken nugget? Chicken nugget? Close. I like that guess. But it's coconut. And I noticed that you sell coconut water here at the market. <laughs> so, Doug, tell me, what brought you here to Las Vegas? My journey started like a lot of journeys do with the seeds that you plant some time ago with people you work with and impressions that you make. And I worked with a gentleman named Michael Downs about 15 years ago. We worked at the Tropicana together and I worked for him for four, year, four or five years. And um, when he came on and joined Tony with the Downtown Project, he called me because they needed someone to uh, run their retail. And at that time I was living in Atlantic City, New Jersey, running the East Coast uh, division for a company at, uh, based out of Atlantic City. So. Um, it took me a few minutes to understand what it was and then uh, found out and it's been a wonderful journey. No doubt, it sounds like it. So tell me, you know, markets have been around since ancient civilizations. In Arabic, it's called the bazaar. In Spanish, mercado. And there's markets all around the world. But I'm curious, what makes this market in downtown Las Vegas unique? Well, part of what makes it so unique is that there is no other real genuine market in downtown Las Vegas. This is a place of community. You can't have a community, a vibrant community, a community that grows and, and, and can live, work, play in the same environment without a market. So I think that's first and foremost. And if you look at what we are, obviously anything evolves. You can't be linear for very long. You have to evolve with what, the, what changes within the marketplace, and we certainly have. We've got pieces of Whole Foods here, we, inspirational pieces of Whole Foods. We've got pieces of a conventional grocery store, natural, organic, and prepared foods. So we've got restaurant, a little bit of a liquor store component to it, a little bit of Trader Joe's, a little bit of Whole Foods, all blended together in downtown Las Vegas. I think we play a critical role in the community, um, building a vibrant community also. No doubt about that. So tell me, Las Vegas is known as Sin City, and obviously you're about the community here with the market, but tell me how you would like Las Vegas to be known for the future and how the market fits into that. I don't think that the market has a lot to, we're not inspired by the sin in part of Las Vegas all that much. <laughs> we're just, we are, you know, like we have a lot of great food you know, our prepared foods, our hot cold bar, people come here who are tourists, that's a big part of what we are. People who work down here are a big part of what we are. And then uh, a lot of folks that, that are, are staying you know, in, in live in the neighborhood nearby that walk in or drive by and park in the 10 minute zone or park in the, on the street a few seconds away. That's what our, our community is for the market. And that's what will be remembered. We want to be continue to serve them and continue to evolve into what they need and what our all of our, our, our customers want out of us. Wow, okay. Before we wrap it up, I, I'm curious, do you have any special stories or in particular an experience with a customer or someone here in the market that really made you feel like your work and you can see the mission becoming true about the community in the market? I think, you know, we just got through with a, with a really successful Life is Beautiful weekend here at the market. And um, I, 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 countless times, we had people come in and just stop and say, wow, this is phenomenal. And then they went and they actually did some shopping and they came back and, and, and one, one guest yesterday said, I can't believe it. You guys could have tripled your prices. You could have gouged us and we still would have had to buy it. I think there's a lot of gratification. It, look, this market has to be profitable first and foremost, but it's, it has a service. It, it has a purpose of serving the community and serving those people and those guests, whether they're tourists or whether they live here or work here, that's our purpose. And, and, and when we get those kind of reactions 
both from the, the those who live in the area and those just visiting for the festival it's pretty satisfying no doubt one last riddle for you what food ruins a woman's appetite forever her sexual appetite forever i had never thought of that question but i need to know <laughs> the, stay away from it for sure the food that ruins a woman's sexual appetite forever is wedding cake and i noticed <laughs> that you guys have cupcakes all types of wedding all types of cake and i think you also bake cake as well here right i've noticed there's cheesecake and fudge cake we do some bacon here yeah we have we also have a uh, a, a really good relationship with organizations who do some of that for us so we can kind of sidestep all those processes involved with that but we got some good cake really good cake <laughs> haven't done a wedding cake yet though thank you once again for your time and tell everybody exactly where the market is located market is located 611 fremont between 6th and 7th right on fremont right across from el cortez all right thank you once again for your time doug